Hello, and welcome to another video of Methuklasan. In this video, I will show you how to do single regression analysis in Jamovi. Single regression, also called simple linear regression, is a statistical technique used to model the relationship between one independent variable and one dependent variable. It essentially explores how changes in a single factor, independent variable, influence a dependent variable. The variable we want to predict is called the dependent variable, or sometimes, the outcome variable. While the variable we are using to predict the other variable's value is called the independent variable, or sometimes, the predictor variable. Here are the assumptions for the single regression. Your dependent and independent variables should be measured at the continuous level. There needs to be a linear relationship between the two variables, use scatterplot to check this. There should be no significant outliers for each data set. You can use a scatter plot or box plot to identify outliers. There should be no autocorrelation in the observations. We will use Durbin Watson statistics to identify if the value is in the acceptable range. Your data needs to show homoscedasticity, which is where the variances along the line of best fit remain similar as you move along the line. Check if the residuals or the errors of the regression line are approximately normally distributed. This can be done using histogram, with a superimposed normal curve, or a normal PP plot. Here's an example, Mr. Yoso would like to know if the number of hours spent studying by students can affect their exam scores. The table shows the data from 20 students. The null hypothesis states that the number of hours spent studying does not predict the math exam scores of the students. I have already encoded the values in Jamovi using two columns. The independent variable, the hours spent studying, is continuous since it is expressed in the number of hours. The dependent variable, the math exam score, is also continuous. Now, to check if the two variables have a linear relationship, we will create a scatter plot. Go to Analyses and Exploration. Select Scatter Plot and wait for the option window. Move the independent variable in the x axis and the dependent variable in the y axis. It can be seen in the scatter plot on the right that the two variables seem to follow a positive linear relationship. You can select the linear option in the regression panel to better understand the figure. The next step is to check for outliers. We will be using a box plot to identify the outliers. Go to Analyses, Exploration, and Descriptives. Place the variables in the box and go to Plots drop down panel. Select Box Plot. The box plots for the two variables did not show any outliers. Data points beyond the whiskers are considered potential outliers. These are typically shown as circles or dots on the plot. The remaining assumption checks will reflect in the Jamovi output once we run the linear regression feature. We can do this by going to the analyses menu, regression, and linear regression. To start, move the hours to the dependent variable box and the independent variable exam scores to the covariates box. To determine the independence of observations, the Durbin Watson statistics will be used. Go to the Assumption Checks drop down panel and select Autocorrelation Test. Since the DW value, 2.20, is within the acceptable range, 1.50 to 2.50, there is no first-order autocorrelation. 
The p-value of 0.658 also indicates that the null hypothesis stating that there is no autocorrelation will be retained. To describe the homoscedasticity, select the Residual Plots option in the Assumption Checks drop-down panel. Here, the residuals are randomly scattered around a horizontal line at zero on the plot. This indicates that the variance of the errors is constant across all predicted values. The last assumption check is to make sure that the residuals or errors of the regression line are approximately normally distributed. Under the Assumption Checks panel, Select the a Normality Test and QQ Plot of Residuals. Here, the p-value of the Shapiro-Wilk is greater than 5% or 0.05. This indicates that the residuals or errors are approximately normally distributed. This decision conforms with the QQ Plot. The points on the plot fall approximately on a straight diagonal line. The closer the points are to this line, the stronger the evidence for normality. Now that we have established the appropriateness of the data sets by checking the assumptions, we can now run the model fit of the regression. To generate the needed tables for the model fit and significance, go to the Model Fit drop-down panel and select F-Test. To load the coefficients needed for the regression equation, go to the Model Coefficients drop-down panel and select ANOVA Test. The three tables in the Jamovi output can be presented this way. The R in Table 1 represents the correlation coefficient of the two variables when paired. While the R-square represents the proportion of variance in the dependent variable explained by the independent variable. It ranges from 0 to 1, with higher values indicating a better fit. However, a high R-square doesn't necessarily mean a perfect model. It can be converted to percent in the interpretation of results. For the ANOVA test summary in Table 2, a larger regression sum of squares compared to residual sum of squares suggests the model explains a substantial portion of the variability. On the other hand, a high F statistic and a low P value provide evidence that the regression model is statistically significant, meaning the relationship between the independent and dependent variables is unlikely due to chance. The model coefficient summary in Table 3 is used for interpreting the relationship between your independent variable and your dependent variable. It is also used to write the regression equation which expresses the overall relationship between the variables in a formula. The estimates or coefficients are directly plugged into the corresponding positions in the regression equation. The coefficient summary also helps interpret the values in the equation. For example, a positive estimate or coefficient of 1.89 in the summary translates to a positive slope in the equation, indicating that the dependent variable increases as the independent variable increases. Additionally, the p-value from the summary tells you if the coefficient is statistically significant. So in the example, the p-values for the intercept and hours are less than 1%, indicating high significance. In the regression equation, the slope coefficient, or number of hours in this example, is always multiplied by the independent variable. While the intercept coefficient is usually positioned after the equal sign. And that's all for this video. Please like, share, and subscribe if you learned from the video. Thank you.